This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 26. And it reads, And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world everybody calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone will teach one and rule world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of the online to the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim listening, listen, learning, in sincerity, and the truth in the silence, Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwatim meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shaman from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto here with another lesson. And we'll get right into it. Isaiah 1, verse 26, and it reads, And I will restore thy judges as at the first, right? The judges. The Lord is going to restore his people, beginning with the elect. Right, the governing body, the 144,000, the men. Lord willing, we have that number, right? The men who are prophesying today, they, the, 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 the 144,000 is within that number of the men that are prophesying in these last days. Lord willing, we have that number, right? Because the, 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 the law is going to go forth out of out of Zion shall go forth the law, roughly paraphrasing Isaiah 2. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 2 and 2. Out of Zion shall go forth the law. Right? The law is going to be enforced. Right? The judges being the 144,000. And thy counselors are at the beginning. Afterward thou shalt be called a city of righteousness. The faithful city, right? Because the whole world, the whole world, after Yahweh Shai returns, right? And the elect receive those in new bodies. The whole world is going to know. Right? The whole world is going to acknowledge that the elect, Lord willing, whatever that number, is that faithful city. Isaiah 36. Verse 24, and it reads, For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries. Right? The scriptures say, Matthew 24, um, the elect shall be gathered from the four corners of the earth. Right? The main deliverance being in America. The great deliverance. <coughs> right? But the elect shall be gathered from out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. Right? Because the elect beginning with the light, but the Israelites are exiled. Right? The scriptures say, a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Right? Ashdod being the land. Then will I sprinkle clean water, right? Because uh, America the Great, Babylon the Great is going to be pelted with missiles. The land of Israel will be pelted with missiles. America will be laid waste. A land of desert animals and desert the land of Israel will be rebuilt, right? The heathens will be the, 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 the workforce to build it back up, right? The heathens, other nations are going to bring their, their, their commodities. They're going to be life. It's going to be a lifelong uh, a membership of, of, of being tributes, <laughs> paying taxes, being tributaries. To the Israelites, beginning with the elect, under Yahweh Shai, under King David, under the twelve, 
than the 144,000, right? That's the government. And then the, 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 the body of believers, right? And then the two thirds come back in the kingdom through the loins of the, of the elect. Verse 25, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean. Right, those new bodies, man. Right, the chains of darkness are going to be done away with, which are these decrepit bodies. Right, and the laws will be written in our inward parts. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Right, because we are in a world, we are in a fallen state. Right, the elect who, 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 who will repent in the last days were once idol worshippers. Right, two thirds of people currently idol worshippers, spirits of fornication, all kind of degeneracy, right? But when they come back in their right mind in the kingdom, they'll be cleansed. When the first fruits, when the first fruits, who are the elect, receive those new bodies, and the laws written in their inward parts, they'll be cleansed. A new heart, heart being mind, also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh, right? The laws written in our inward parts, man. And this is what we look forward to, man. Because this ain't living. This ain't living, man. What? What? Repatriations? 40 acres and a mule? This ain't living. Working in Esau's kingdom. Degree. Promoted to... to, to uh, uh, vice president, vice president of 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 uh, Esau's company. Work, retire, body falls apart. You die. This ain't living. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them right. Perf perfection. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your power right the land which which I gave to your fathers the land of Israel which is larger than it is today it's all kind of land it's, the borders are larger than what we see today right but the land of Israel will be the headquarters the elect will be there Yahweh will be there Right, the laws, statute, commands will be written in our inward parts. King David will be there. The twelve. The one third. Right? The, the, the households of the elect. They'll be there. And two thirds come back through the loins of the elect. Isaiah, back in Isaiah 1 and 26. And it reads, And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness, right? And these are the things we look forward to, man. Right, because this ain't living. Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, these other nations. Right? And their kings shall minister, because these other nations are going to be, be servants and handmaids. Beginning with Esau, Edom. They're going to pay tribute. And their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Right? In wrath I smote thee, us, us under these curses. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Ultimately, the Lord is going to deliver his people, beginning with the elect. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Right, These other nations are going to bring their best 
They're going to bring their best commodities. They're going to be tributaries. They're going to be taxed. They're going to bring their 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 trees, their lumber, their 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 uh their 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 cattle, their livestock, their women, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted, right? Because all nations have to get out, get down or lie down, man. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious, right? They're going to bring their commodities, their best choice uh, uh, lumber. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Right, all nations have to bow. Verse 15, Where, whereas thou hast been forsaken, Salakia, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, right? Because right now we're the dregs. Right now the Israelites are, 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 are the scum, the, 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 the last hired, first fired, right? The ones that pack up the prison prison industrial complex, the ones that are stuck that are tucked away, that, that are stuck in a, a, a on reservations, drinking themselves to death, drug addicts. A, a, a proverb and a byword. I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many nations, right? Because the Lord's going to give the Israelites fame, beginning with the elect. Verse 16, thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, right? You heathen nations are going to have to bring your best and shall suck the breast of kings and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Right? The Mighty One of Jacob. Israelites. Right? This ain't for no one else. Right? These other nations are going to be tributaries. Tributes. Revelation 21. Verse 22, and it reads, And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord, power almighty, and the Lamb are the temple of it. Right? Because the, 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 the Lord is going to be with his people, man. Right? Is the land of Israel being the headquarters, built up. We just read it. The, 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 the sons of strangers shall build it up. And the city had no need of sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yashai did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof, right? Because the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is going to be with the Israelites. Verse 24, And the nations of them which are saved, the nations, these other, na these other nations, right? The ones that survived the destruction. Right? Because at the beginning with Esau's nobles, they're going to be preserved from the destruction. Of America the Great, Babylon the Great. They're going to be hiding in bunkers. But there's going to be other places throughout the world where these heathen nations are, are going to survive the destruction. Right? Because it says in uh, Daniel 7. Let's get it real quick. Daniel 7 and 12. And it reads, As concerning the rest of the beasts, the other nations, they had their dominion taken away, right? You Moabites, you, you, you Ishmaelites, you Ammonites, you Hamites, you Cushites, right? Your dominion is taken away. You're no longer going to be free to do whatever you want. You're no longer going to be uh, uh, on the hierarchy just under Esau uh, and above the Israelites. Yet their lives were prolonged for a season at a time, right? They're, they're going to go back into the lands after the, after the, uh, the thousand years of hardcore slavery for Esau, Edom. And they're going to become permanent tribute, tributes, tributaries 
to the Israelites. Revelation 21, 24, and the nation and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. Right. You're going to you're going to have to do. Uh, Isaiah 2 says. Uh, uh, the law, the law shall go forth out of Zion. Roughly paraphrasing. Right. You're going to have to walk in the ways of Yahweh Shai. You're going to have no choice. It's going to be enforced. Rod of iron. And the kings of the earth do bring the Salakia. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. Right. You're gonna bring once again, you're gonna bring your choice and best things, man. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night, for there shall be no night there. Right? And this is the kingdom, man. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it, right? You're going to bring your best commodities, your best resources. All your resources is going to be tributary to the Israelites, beginning with the elect. Under Yahweh Shai, under King David, under the 12, the 144. Right? Yeah, that's it on that, man. I just wanted to touch on that. You know, the kingdom gonna be the kingdom gonna be sweet, man. We can't even imagine it. We can we can only read these scriptures, and 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 visualize it. But in in all reality, we can't fathom how how sweet it's gonna be, man. Right. I think I had another scripture. Psalm 94 and 15. But, but judgment shall return unto righteousness. Right? The laws, statutes, and commandments are going to be the, 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 the benchmark of the earth. Right? But the kingdom of heaven will be on earth. Right? America, the great Babylon, there it's going to be melted. Right, never to be inhabited again. But the earth is going to be refreshed. And the Israelites with the new bodies are going to go forth, enforcing the law throughout the, throughout the four corners of the earth, throughout the earth. And all the upright in heart shall follow it. Right, the, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be uh, within within the elect. Within the Israelites, beginning with the elect. Right? And all the nations are gonna have to uh they're gonna have to abide, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to uh comply. Compliance. Just like here in this earth, you you have holidays where where the whole whole city shuts down for a hot for a for a for a pagan holiday, right? In the kingdom, <laughs> there's gonna be a laws of uh, the, 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 the law of Yahweh B'Shem Yahashai The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob So with that Call the law Yahweh B'Shem Yahashai B'Shem Rekha Quraysh Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone And teach one who will Shalom to the hopeful elect